have the Gershom Poly Gel unboxing, review and demo. So I'm going to get everything out of the box because I'm sure you don't want to hear all the rustling and rattling and I'll be right back. This one's a bit different. It actually comes in two layers of things. So yeah, let's go through that. So on the top here, you've got a crystal picker and a wee tub of crystals. Look at these, aren't they lovely? They're quite sparkly, they're flat back, they're AB. That's a nice wee addition to a set. And the crystal... Oops. The crystal picker just looks like a crystal picker. Yep. Nice and narrow and it's really pretty, which is always an added bonus. We've got some slip solution, top coat, base coat, the poly gel itself. Then on the bottom, we've got paper forms, dual forms, which we all know I won't be using. Oh, that's pretty. Thank you for my dear. We're so excited for you to try our Gershon products. We can't wait to see what content you create. Thank you for being a part of the Gershon Nail Salon Collection campaign. Oh, that's nice. And they've got a Facebook and also an email there so you can get in touch with them if you need to. So, there's that. And there's that. Facebook. Uh, eight years in the making. I didn't realise they were that old. Right, so it's basically just instructions on here, which is great. And there aren't tiny wee instructions, they're big enough to actually read. Okay, so that's that. So you get a file. I'm assuming it's, yeah, 100, 180. The other poly gels, I'm not opening all of these because there's no point. So I'm not swatching them all. Um, not at the moment anyway and obviously you get a brush let's see Ooh. sorry my hands are a wee bit wobbly today again it's a nice firm spatula it's not wobbling oh, that's a wee bit out of place but we can fix that I think Maybe not quite as firm as the last one I, I had, I reviewed, but um, it's nice. So I'm going to use this because it's slightly different to the one I've actually got in the go. I am going to use this just to see what it's like because it does seem to be a bit, not flimsy, but less firm. So we will use that today and I'll try and fix the bristles. So let's leave that out. Stay there. Now, I need to decide what colour we're going to use. That's too pink. I think I quite fancy this one. Are these covered? Yeah, they are. So, I can't just guess at the colours. I would have to open them. I think it's going to be between... Oh, I can get it out four and five um, I think because it doesn't seem to be a clear although I suppose that one's like almost clear like the pink clear I'm going to have to open them a minute okay I'll check what one I want to use and I'll be right back Yeah. 
So I've got it on. Um, I've filed, but I haven't buffed. Not yet, or finished, or top coated or anything. Um, I'll do that all at once. So let's try this. Let's see how much fun we have with this today. Okay, that went on okay. But again, I'm not trying to manoeuvre it anywhere. This is just an overlay, so I'm not going to be building a nail with it. So, let's put some base coat on. Okay. Let's do this. Need some more slip solution. Well, that was relatively drama free today. Okay, let's give us a wee wipe. Remove the sticky layer. If I could get a grippy apart. Okay, let's top coat. <sighs> okay, we're filed, we're buffed, we're top coated. I haven't oiled yet, in fact, I'll do that now while we're chatting. I do have thoughts. Um, the form I found really easy to use. I don't know if it was just because it wasn't a full nail I was sculpting or what, but that went really well, as you may have noticed. Um, the poly gel itself I find extremely sticky. Um, it's not my favourite. The base coat is fine. It's a really good base coat, really sticky. The top coat stinks so badly um, that I had to move the bottle away while I was curing. I couldn't just leave it sitting where it was. It smells so, so bad. Um, I don't like it at all. Slip solution seemed fine. The brush for it seems flimsier than my other ones. It done the job. It worked fine. No problems at all. Um... I can't comment on how it's going to hold up yet, obviously, because I've only just applied it. So, if I have mishaps or it breaks or whatever in the next couple of days, I will update on Instagram. But if there's no problems when it lasts like the two, three weeks before I have to infill, as usual, is what my dip would or my usual poly gel, um, I won't bother updating you because there's no point. But for full transparency, um, as I say, this was sent for review, but you know me, I'm pretty honest. This is not a system that I would reach for over the other poly gels that I have. It's not that it's a bad product, because it isn't. It's done the job. The top coat is really shiny. I mean, it's so shiny. You'll not notice it as much now when I've got the oil on. But it's so, so shiny. But the smell is so bad. So it's... I know from me and I don't know if maybe I was just struggling to manoeuvre it because I was using my left hand so what I might do is try putting some on a tip see how I got on with that moving it about with my, my dominant hand Um, if I try that I'll, I'll film it and I'll, I'll show you but as things stand I will not be reaching for this poly gel again 
So I hope this was helpful. Um, I'm sorry it wasn't my usual positive shiny review, but I, I won't lie on a review, as you all know. So thank you very much for joining me today and watching my review of this Gershwin Gershon Poly Gel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hello, me again. <laughs> so I decided that when I took my glitter off my index finger, I filed it down and I wanted to give this poly gel another try. So I've put a layer of base coat over the nail and I've used a different colour this time. I actually really like this colour. It's lovely on the nail. And I just wanted to give it another go using my right hand to do it and you know, the hand that I'm used to doing the poly gel on. And uh, yeah, it manoeuvred slightly easier. I still found it extremely sticky. It was still a joy to file. It wasn't difficult at all. It was great for filing. Um, so here it is before I file it. Um, cured perfectly, no problems at all. Um, this is it after it's filed and buffed and then I put the top coat on it. The top coat still stinks so bad. So no, my opinion hasn't changed and I probably won't reach for this, but it's not a bad kit. It's just my personal preference.